So I'd like to talk about um, some of the goals that I have um, for the model that I developed in this paper. So we talked about in the, in the previous literature, uh, tends to only view the worker's decision along a single dimension. And that's uh, when, when to change careers. So what I want to do is I want to have a model of occupational matching that's going to count for when to switch careers, but as well, what new career to go to next. So when I look along the second dimension, um, there's kind of some, some new features of the data that we're going to be able to, to capture that we can't with our current models. So the first one is this idea of workers returning to their previous matches. So in the cohort of the NLSY 97 that I look at, 25% uh, of movers are going to be returning to a previous occupation. So we want to really understand what it is uh, that's causing an individual to change occupations, but then go back to that occupation. So the current literature is just going to view each occupational change um, as a, as, a new, as a new match, a new occupation. So they're not really keeping track of the, the, uh, the past sequences of occupational changes. The second feature uh, that I want to be able to uh, take into account is occupational mobility due to promotions. So the current literature, again, is, is viewing individuals' decisions uh, more or less as kind of fleeing bad matches. But we also want to think about occupational mobility as uh, individuals with, with high matches changing careers also. And that's going to be due mostly to promotions. So again, in the NLS 197 that I'm looking at, 17% uh, of movers are going to be moving within the same firm. Uh, so we're going to think that uh, a lot of these are going to be promotions. Uh, the final feature of the data is uh, education as a source of information about occupation ability. So Miller, 1984, he finds um, that higher educated individuals uh, tend to find better matches quicker. And unless we kind of model the education decision and the occupational matching decision simultaneously, uh, we're not going to really be able to figure out what it is uh, that gives these higher educated individuals better information. 